We see a lot of people in our practices that have this thoracic kyphosis that's exaggerated, a little bit too hyperkyphotic, particularly in our elderly, those uh, forward head posture people. Uh, sometimes we'll have a thoracic kyphosis that uh, is needs to be fixed, needs to be corrected, try to get uh, the strain patterns out of here because it sometimes causes rib problems that can be very, very painful. So what we want to do is we want to get the spine to just flatten out a little bit and get these vertebrae to collapse a little bit on each other so that it flattens, takes some of the curve out. You want just a nice new, neutral lumbar and thoracic curve. One of the ways to do it, the first thing I like to do is to spring. Of course, Michelle here does not have excessive thoracic kyphosis, so we're going to have to fake this. I'm going to come in like the old chiropractors used to do, the Texas Twister with my left hand coming in on the, uh, the transverse processes, pushing down that way. My right thenar eminence is going to come here. I'm going to get up on top here, and I'm just going to spring gently. Take up about 30 pounds of pressure. That's not too much, not as much as you think, and add an additional 20 to spring to see if the ribs move. We're not trying to adjust this back. We're not trying to pop this back. We're not trying to do anything, but a little mobilization is good. 